We'll see. I mean, I guess it's, it's early to know yet. Um, I, I like uh, being chair of the Permanent Subcommittee Investigations. Hopefully I'll be able to keep that. I think I will. Um, we're working right now on this issue of human trafficking specifically, as you know, because you've been following this and writing about it. And I appreciate that going after this online website through which from our investigations, most of the human trafficking is occurring online. Um, hope I'll be able to stay on the Finance Committee and the Energy Committee and the Budget Committee, uh, all, all of which are important to Ohio. You know, committees where I've, I've been able to make some progress on some specific issues like energy efficiency and uh, tax reform in the uh, Finance Committee. Uh, and then I'm on this broader Committee of Governmental Affairs and Homeland Security, which Sadly, it's going to continue to be a big issue, Homeland Security particularly, as we face these threats around the world. So that's where I, I plan to stay. Well, I support more enforcement, as you know. I mean, I talked as this, this is a campaign you know, in the sense that I think our immigration system is broken, both the legal and the illegal system and it won't be able to be fixed without enhancing enforcement, not just at the border but also the workplace and also with regard to our visa program because about 40% of the people here illegally came legally and overstayed their visas. So it has to be fixed. And I think most Americans, regardless of where you come out on the wall, agree with that. Um, then we have to deal with the people who are here. So I don't know that if there will be a, a physical wall everywhere across the border or whether you can do this uh, with a virtual wall in certain areas where a wall might not be practical. But I do think people are going to generally support the idea of reforming our immigration system and ensuring that there is adequate enforcement. The last time this was done, back in 1986, I think, um, there wasn't enforcement. And so we did you know, go through a process of immigration reform, but it wasn't successful because the workplace Enforcement efforts weren't put in place. The border enforcement uh, was promised wasn't put in place. So I think it has to be a, a combination. Senator, can I ask one more question? On, um, Lots of folks out there are wondering oh, how this election is going to impact them personally mm -hmm. uh, in the days ahead. I mean, if you had to try to nail down what impact the Trump <coughs> presidency will have on Ohio in the next three or four months, what would you say they'll see or feel? Well, I think there's an opportunity to turn the page. And when I say turn the page, I think what a lot of people are looking for is not a replay of the last four years or even eight years um, of the gridlock and, and dysfunction, but they want to actually see Congress and the presidency work better together. And um, I think that's what we ought to be hopeful for. And that helps every Ohio. I mean, because although our economy is a little better than the rest of the country right now, if you look at the numbers, you know, Ohio's now top 10 in job creation, uh, still things are not moving in a way that allows you to feel like if you work hard and play by the rules, you can get ahead or feel better about your kids or grandkids. Most people don't feel like they'll be better off than they are. And I think that's that's something that requires not just turning the page, but a fresh start. And looking at these issues I talked about earlier today, the skills training, the, the ability to reform our tax code and a regulatory system and expand exports and crack down on unfair imports, those will all be helpful to actually getting the economy moving. And um, I think that is particularly helpful to Ohio because we're a manufacturing economy and you know, we were hit harder by the recession in some states and we are, you know, a state that cares a lot about economic growth. Uh, but I think beyond that, I think Ohio is going to be sure that we're safe. You know, when you send your kids to the mall, you want to worry about the possibility of a terrorist attack. And I think we can strengthen our military and help to afford to achieve a more stable world rather than the volatile and dangerous world we face now. And I think that's that's a hopeful change as well. So, I'm, you know, I'm as you can tell today, I'm optimistic, and I think this is an opportunity for all of us to put behind an election that we're probably um, happy to forget, um, and move on to uh, trying to do the business of America. All right, Thank you all for being here.